Hi, I'm Chas with Chas's Crazy Creations, and today we're going to make an easy cinder block bench. Let's get started. We have a large cottonwood in the back corner of our backyard. Under this tree is a cinder block bench that we made years ago, and as you can see, it's been well weathered and it's time to give it a little love. For this project, you're going to need redwood 4x4s, and you can pick what length you want at the hardware store. You'll need to sand down your redwood. I'm going to be using my Wagner Paint Eater as I will be removing some of the old polyurethane that is peeling off. This Wagner Paint Eater was so easy to use and removed all the old polyurethane in just moments. This took off the worst of it and you would want to sand your boards no matter what to smooth them out for sitting on. I sanded all four sides of all three 4x4s. Hi everyone, Chas from Chas's Crazy Creations. I was trying to go live and for the life of me, my connection would just not stand today. So um, I just wanted to say, this is a board um, that we made a bench with and we polyurethaned it several years ago. And over time, the polyurethane has just faded away. And so it's really rough, um, but I am using, <laughs> my, there's my glasses, security glass, safety glasses. Um, I'm using my um, Wagner paint eater today on it. and. Um, this is a new tool to me and I would say it is awesome uh, so one of the things it's just really easy to use it's got a nice big scouring pad that's what I'm calling it um, but it's just it's just so fast it's just taking this right off so that I'll be able to redo it and um, you know if you were doing a maybe a, a fine piece of furniture you might want to do lighter grit sandpaper to you know clean it up at the end but just to get the worst of it off really fast this is it, this is amazing. So I am um, totally in love with my new Wagner paint eater. So I hope you guys enjoy this short video and this little review of my day spending um, sanding. <laughs> Here's a quick look at all the boards once I had sanded them. Next, I wiped down all the boards to remove all the sawdust, dirt, and debris to get them ready for painting. I placed a drop cloth on the sawhorses to protect them and placed all three boards on the sawhorses. I decided to use Verathane Ultimate Spar Urethane, water-based formula, satin, and it was good for exterior. Now the first time I painted these, I used a paintbrush, but this time I'm going to be using my Wagner paint sprayer. I followed the can instructions and then poured the Spar Urethane into my paint sprayer can. I got my Wagner Flexio paint sprayer ready to use by following the instructions for settings. I then painted across the top of each of the boards. Once I painted the tops, I rotated the boards. I then painted the tops of the next side. I then let the paint dry for 30 minutes before rotating again. I continued this process until all four sides had been painted. I then continued this process of painting the tops, waiting 30 minutes, flipping, repeating the paint until all boards have been coated a total of three times. I'm using my new Wagner spray painter to redo an old bench that we had and it is so much faster and it's like really therapeutic. I'm having so much fun. Just a quick reminder, don't forget to seal your ends as well. Once all the boards had been painted with all three coats and then dried completely, it was time to assemble the bench. For this next step, you'll need six cinder blocks and you'll want to assemble them in this format with two stacked and one vertical. Next, you slide each of the boards into the top hole of the cinder blocks. I placed a small angel I found at a thrift store on the corner of the cinder block bench. We created a small sitting area near this bench and we call this our memory bench where we sit in this area and reflect on those we've lost as well as spend quality time with each other. Do you see how easy it is to make one of these cinder block benches? I'm thrilled with how the refresh turned out. This was our grandparents little deer that they had in their garden so it sits near our memory bench. It needs a little love. Do you have any ideas? Drop it in the comments. We'd like to hear. Thank you, Wagner, for making this update so easy for us to do. I hope this inspires you to make an easy cinder block bench of your own. 
I'd love it if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and my blog and be sure to hit the bell so that you'll be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.